This is uh, Keyboard Magazine, issue July 1993. And uh, here they focus on vintage synths and prices. And this is highly interesting. This is 30 years ago. Synths that now commands tens of thousands of dollars. In 1993, you could get these for uh, two or three hundred dollars or less. You could get a Prophet 5 for 50 bucks. I myself got a uh, TR-909 for, um, yeah, $40, I think, in 1993. Let's go through some of these prices that um, were um, common in 1993. I have to say, 30 years after this article was printed, I giggle a little. Oh, how the opinions have changed 30 years later. One of the experts says, Try to get as many oscillators as possible, and a machine like the Moog Prodigy doesn't let you do much. It's also funny to read that they considered a DX7 and a D50 vintage in 1993. And now the fun part, the prices in 1993 for these synths. So this list is made up of three columns. You have the model name to the left, you have the estimated street value in the middle, and you have the estimated dealer price to the right. So you start off with the Akai's, and you can see that something like the MPC-60 that was pretty new in 1993, that goes for a lot of money, while as the Akai VX600, for instance, has an estimated street value of $200. And you can see something like the ARP 2500 modular goes from a estimated street value of as less as $500, up to $8,000 actually. And you can see something like the Emulator 2 has a estimated street value as low as $500. You can check out the Fairlights, go as low as $1,000 for an estimated street value. And you have the Korgs, the Korg Politics, as low as $100. And check out the Korg PS3100 modular as low as $300. The estimated dealer price would always be a little higher than the street price, of course, because they had to make some money back. The Lindrum, as low as $200. And check out the Moogs. You have the Memory Moog going as low as $200. Mini Moog, as low as $75. The Prodigy, $50. Let's check out the Oberheims. Uh, Oberheim DX, $50. Oberheim 8 Voice, $600. The OB8, $350. The OBXA, $150. Expander, $800. PPG, the Wave, $2.2, $300. The 2.3 with MIDI, $500. And check out the Rollins. Let's go st straight to the Jupiter 8, $400. And uh, <laughs> the Juno 60, $100. And things like the MC4 doesn't even have a street value or a, a Roland MC202 doesn't even have an estimated dealer price. You could probably not give them away. Uh, the Prophet VS Rack was pretty new, $1,500, so that was top dollar. The Prophet 2002, $500. Multitrack, $150. Prophet 5, Revision 3, $400. And let's check out the Yamaha CS80, $300 to 1000 while the DX1 is 650 Oh man, oh man. If you have some cool stories about uh, synths you got for dirt cheap that are now considered very expensive, please share with us in the comment section. As always, I'm Espencroft. Thanks for watching. Cheers.